I've started this channel because I want to be a counterweight to all the negativity that's going on on YouTube at the moment. There are too many people that have no compassion. You know the kind of people I'm talking about. Indeed, street justice warriors. Anti-feminists, homophobes, transphobes, religious zealots, anti-religious zealots, and basically people that care only about their own comfort and have no empathy or compassion for others. And I find that so much of the discourse that goes on is just ignorant of just how grey biological sex actually is and how even the slightest genetic tweak can cause a male to become a female or vice versa. You are conflicting both the sex and the gender identity. You are fully aware of how building the sex works and we are fully aware of intersex. Despite its frequent presence in the queer acronym LGBTIA, you are making the acronym so fucking old, nobody cares. Few people really talk about intersex. To a point I get why, as we're often hidden and there aren't many of us willing to talk about our biology. In my opinion though, we need as many of us to speak out as we can because that's the only way we're going to normalise ourselves and, in the long run, stop people's tasteless jokes and just plain ignorance of intersex people. What jokes would that be? I never heard any jokes about intersex. Can't be that common. To obvious genital mixing that can lead parents to agree to surgically assign sex shortly after birth. An extremely unethical practice, FYI. Yes, it is wrong. But it's not unethical. It was done in the child's best interest. I also have an inarguable biological excuse for being gender neutral and asexual. Why would you need excuses? Yes, feminism. The long fought struggle for women's equality has reached its goal. Taken quite a trashing on YouTube and various unwashed corners of the internet in recent years. And the flying too. It's been particularly prevalent in the atheist parts of this website. And it's something of a mystery to me why that is. You'd think those most opposed to feminism would be those that subscribe to patriarchal religion. And yet it's atheists leading this current charge against the march of progress. Segregation and gender inequality isn't progress. Yes, anti-feminists are everywhere it seems. From what I can tell, they are not as numerous as they might have you believe. But those that are a part of this mob appear to be very good at seeking out feminist thought online and signalling to their comrades that it's time to come in and shout over everyone else. Let me make this clear. Being the loudest doesn't make you right, or smart, or anything but loud. You are not helping your cause. You're just gatecrashers, really. So you're stating that the discussion is not allowed if you disagree. If you are going to be one of these people on this video, I implore you to find a real hobby. I can't imagine how empty your life must be, honestly. I have a real hobby. More than one, actually. An MC activist. And not only in this topic, but you too are an activist. So isn't your life quite empty then? The analogue to the feminine mystique is something you may have heard of and not understood. Called toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity is the idea that a man must be tough, violent, sexually dominant, the emotional equivalent of a tree stump, and never, under any circumstances, girly. It is the feminist belief that this idea is harmful to men, nurturing their most violent characteristics and burying their emotional core to the extent that they may become damaged and dysfunctional. I believe this belief about men is archaic and destructive, and men should be encouraged to show and work through their emotions, to stop being so allergic to what they perceive as feminine, to learn how to deal with problems without violence. If you just had a gut reaction to the effect of, what, are you trying to make men pussies or something? You just might be suffering from toxic masculinity. The issue is that that is not healthy for men. It's not a, that it's making men pussies. You'll notice that what I've laid out here is not about legal rights. Of course I do care about them too. Then I assume you would be able to name one. I feel like anti-feminists either don't understand feminism properly, or are grasping tightly to gender roles without understanding that they're kinda bullshit. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. You are completely wrong. Especially if you count MRAs as anti-feminists. 
No MRIs aren't necessarily feminist, but many of you say that everyone who you don't like are MRAs, so yeah. I will not make my comment section a free-for-all, as I frankly hate comment sections that let negativity take over, which is most when it comes to the kind of topics I'm tackling. I'm all for discussion, but... In my case, my comment section will not be a particularly useful place to do it. Yeah, right. If that was the case, then you would provide a way to communicate with you. Furthermore, you call it gate crashers, so no, you are not for discussion. There's a huge problem on the internet today. It's not something that used to be a problem, and I don't really know where it came from. But today in 2016, it's completely out of hand. People think, erroneously that they're entitled to have other people listen and respond to them. Yeah, nobody thinks that. I defy you to prove otherwise. This is the underlying issue beneath the garbage that happens here on YouTube and the corresponding garbage that happens on Twitter. If you follow this channel, it's more than likely you've heard of my mate Steve O'Shavsy, beheaded atheist feminist who was recently whined about by Mr. Shouty McCussface Kirk here. You see, reactionaries... online seem to think that being blocked or having their comments moderated is unfair in some way. You know, because their comment sections are true beacons of class. In Shivesy's case, he has heard your arguments many times and has seen abuse leveled against him and the people he loves. And he took action to stop it. He heavily moderates his comments and liberally blocks people, including using block lists compiled by others to preempt mob attacks. You know, something reactionaries excel at. And speaking of people telling others they suck, let's talk about this bizarre thing that's taken over among edgelords and the like. Suppressing your own empathy, or the cult of sociopathy. Milo Yiannopoulos being the prototypical example of the kind of person these edgy bros worship, these guys seek to be completely unmoved by the plight of others because compassion is not tolerated, because they're idle, your Milos, your Sargons, your Thunderfoots seem never to display any sort of love, empathy or kindness. They will take these soft-hearted emotions and bottle them up, never to be recovered, at least while they're online. Because after all, who could issue death or rape threats and feel normal human emotions at the same time? Who could willfully drive someone to suicide if they actually stop and think that there's a real person on the other side of their computer monitor that's hurting and severely in need of help? These sociopath wannabes flit around the internet being the worst possible people they can be, saying the worst things they can think of all for the validation of their peers, at the expense of, in some cases, the actual lives of real people. Yeah, citation really needed for all of that slanderous bullshit. Now, listen to the content of his videos. Back then... Good morning, everybody. Remember last winter, when we'd have a cold snap for a couple of days, or some snowfall, and mail call would just be filled with comments from these anonymous smart asses who would call in and say things like, hey, how about this global warming? Completely irrelevant. And most of us aren't climate change skeptics. Two weeks ago, they decided to try and save some money by making it legal to beat your wife. Yeah, we aren't pro-domestic violence, you fucking moron. Race realism. Completely irrelevant. You're conflating anti-SCW with race realist. Possibly alt-right or alt-line. Because domestic violence affects people all over the world. Of all races and ethnicities, of all income levels, of all sexual orientations and gender identities. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in three women and one in four men will experience domestic violence. I have to give Shives some credit here. He's bringing up the statistics for men, something few of you do. Clearly, he has undergone a dramatic ideological shift over the years. Since you didn't show any of his older videos where he brings up feminist issues that the SUWs disagree with, I'm going to assume that there wasn't any, and you have thereby shown that you are a liar.